What's up guys? I'm Dave Boyer, aka Mr. Boyer, aka the Swamp Man, here hiking in Joyce Kilmer Memorial Forest with my daughter Belle. Um, it's one of the only old growth stands of trees in the Appalachian Mountains, so you get some really big trees. The tree that seems to dominate this area right now is the poplar. Um, this is a really big poplar right here. I'll scan up so you can look up its trunk a little bit. Got a friendly snail hanging on right here too. So there's a lot impressive about big trees. You know, they're awesome to see, they're awesome to look at. You know, we can be impressed by them because we're so used to seeing much, much smaller trees than, than a big poplar like this. But you know, I want to talk to you about how trees transport the things they need. Um, we've got two different pathways inside of the trunks of the trees called xylem and phloem. And xylem tubes are the ones that are kind of going up in most cases, um, sending water and nutrients and minerals so they get out of the soil, uh, up through the trunk of the tree, all the way out to the tips of the leaves where the leaves can do photosynthesis. And when those leaves are doing their photosynthesis, they're creating sugars, the glucose that every cell needs in the tree. Then those leaves send the glucose down the other pathways, the phloem tubes. And the phloem tubes deliver those down to the lower parts of the branches um, and even all the way down to the roots so the roots can continue to grow and suck up more water and nutrients and minerals. Pretty cool kind of uh, pathways going up and down with the xylem going up with water and minerals and the phloem going down with that glucose. Really impressive in a tree of this size. Um, just wanted to share that with you and tell you that science rocks. Peace.